Hi, welcome to Empress Moon Tarot. Very happy to have you here today. Be sure to click that subscribe button while you're here and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to help me let, get this video out to other people. So coming up is going to be a love reading for the new moon to full moon cycle. Um, I'm gonna do them kind of, you know, bi-weekly like that going forward. And this particular reading is gonna be between you and another person. It's just a little check-in, um, not a really huge reading. Some have extended, some do not. Uh, it depends on whether or not spirit, spirit kind of compelled me to do so. So your reading will be up here in just a moment, but please keep in mind this is a general reading. As such, it may not fully apply to your personal situation. Please be sure to bring, visit that link on the screen right now, empressmoontarot.com in order to um, order your personal reading. Now, personal readings are gonna come first. I'm currently trying to play catch up because of my move. So as such, you're gonna see mostly readings by hand. As soon as you see me face to you, you know I've caught up. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, I look forward to seeing what your reading brings today. In the next couple days, also there will be some career readings for the cycle as well. So. Let's see what's going on with your zodiac, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Hello, Taurus, 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 sun, moon, and rising signs. We are going to use the eight coin tattoo, tarot, sacred rebels, divine animals, my f new favorite, and starseed, which is also a new favorite. <laughs> I have two favorites. Okay, so this is going to be a new moon reading. So we're gonna put you on this side, your love interest on this side. I've already shuffled the decks. What we're gonna be looking at is, you know, what's going on between the two of you over the, you know, the new moon to the full moon period. All right, spirit for the sign of Taurus, please. What's going on for Taurus? I was told to stop. What is going on for Taurus's love interest? All right, so Taurus, now this can always be vice versa. Feel free to swap if necessary. Um, once again, my apologies for the background noise. There's construction going on outside. It's gonna be going on throughout this entire time frame. Rather than wait till the wee hours of the morning, I chose to record anyway. So for Taurus, we have Breath of the Cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging, micromanaging the universe. This tells me, Taurus, that you have been in the process of trying to manifest some sort of movement with regards to your love life, with regards to this particular person. So that movement could be that you're trying to manifest your return if the two of you are currently parted or you may be trying to manifest some sort of specific movement with regards to this connection, but you are manifesting. Now you might be sitting there saying, no, I'm not, I'm not doing any of that. Are you daydreaming? Are you thinking about what you want for your future? Are you planning and mapping out what you want for your future? Then yes, you are manifesting. Your person has loosened your grip, co coping mechanisms, Density, addiction, let God in. Oh, oh, Taurus. So your person may be dealing with an addiction. Now, an addiction could just simply be the fact that they're working too much, that, that all their time and energy is focused on their work. Um, it could be an actual substance or a behavior that um, is something that they're trying to get rid of, but they're using something as a coping mechanism. Something is bothering them and they're closing themselves off to the connection to other people and coping in some way that may not be ideal, I guess would be the best way to put it. All right. See what can you tell me for Taurus, please? Taurus. What is already with you? See, yours is just so much about manifestation. Taurus, what are you trying to create in your life? 
because I'm feeling like whatever you're trying to create in your life, it, it goes beyond this love relationship. Okay, Taurus is love and trust, please. Wow. Okay, so that one, notice that one came out reversed. Okay. Taurus, you have a strong energy of manifestation and recognizing that you can create something out of nothing, that you can move forward, um, move forward with peace, knowing that what you want, you're going to obtain. You're very goal oriented. And there's nothing that stops you from achieving those goals. There's nothing that stops you from getting to your destination. So I see some sacred geometry in here that might be important to someone, um, but not all of you. Energy manipulation for some, not all of you. Um, with these very small, they look like butterflies, but they could be moths. It's hard to say. This could be that you're having with regards to love, you may be, you know, having that kind of new love, giddy, butterfly type feeling. Um, you may be feeling like something is lost, but it has not been lost. You may be looking for love, but love is right here. You may be hoping for movement, hoping you may have placed your placed your order with the universe for what you wanted in love and here it comes but it's not it's not arrived in a package that you're quite recognizing because this person seems to be very troubled so now if you are in a long-term relationship or married Taurus your person is troubled there's something that's bothering them focus on the light has come up in reverse this tells me that your person is very focused on the sadness the grief the, the difficulties the loss negativity whatever difficulty has happened in their life that they're trying to cope with rather than face they're struggling rather than face it head on they're struggling this needs to change this needs to change Taurus but you can't do that for this person only they can do it for themselves Taurus, please, Taurus. Two. So two for Taurus's person. One more for Taurus's person. All right, let's, let's touch on your person first. So they're trying to figure out a way out of this difficult energy that they're struggling with. They're trying to obtain some sort of emotional stability and they're really working very hard on trying to overcome it. It may not appear that way, but internally they're processing. They're, they're going through the healing. They're trying to figure out how to overcome this. Now Taurus, the bull did show up in Pisces and in Pisces reading, this red fox also showed up. So if you're dealing with a Pisces, it might be important. Not all of you will be though. You have peregrine falcon observation and dog companionship. So you're kind of friend zoning this person, even if it's, some, even if it's somebody you're married to. <laughs> you're working on the friendship aspect of this connection. You're working on, on connecting with them in a friendly way, um, trying to be there for them as they deal with whatever they're struggling with. And observation tells me that you see the struggles. You see that they're having some sort of, some sort of emotional struggle here. They may not have expressed it to you, but you do see it, and that's positive. All right. Now some tarot for you. Four, a five of wands, ten of wands, queen of swords, magician. All right. All right, Taurus. So you're gonna you're gonna need to get really clear. 
if this is not somebody you're married to and not somebody you're in a long-term relationship with, I think you're going to need to get really clear on whether or not you want to invest your time and energy into this. Um, there seems to be a lot of burdens and some bickering and fighting because this person's going through emotional struggles. And um, perhaps you're having some, some trouble seeing them through this because, you know, you're more charge forward, deal with it, conquer it, move on. Um, so you may, you may be having some communication struggles because of that. With this um, Ten of Wands, this appears to be, you know, a real burden for you or for them while this is going on or for the both of you. It's, it's, very, it's very much a struggle. You're carrying this person's burdens. Um, whether you realize it or not, it, they seem to be affecting you on a very deep level. With the Queen of Swords, I think you're going to get very clear on the direction. If you are married and in a long-term relationship, you're going to get clear on how to fix that, how to take action, how to get control of this, and how to move it forward. If you are not, you're going to get very clear on whether or not that's what you want, whether or not you want to move forward in this connection. So I like it. It looks really lovely. Um, it is a struggle, yes, but the outcome is positive. Um, Taurus, I am not going to extend this for you. I'm actually going to extend this for the cross watchers that are struggling with this issue. Um, I'm going to pull some cards, see if we can help them figure out how to get past this. This particular situation appears to be rather daunting for them, whatever it may be. Um, if this is somebody you're married to and you know you want to watch the extended to see how you might help them to overcome that, that's fine. But this is gonna be, the extended is gonna be an entirely separate reading just for these cross watchers that are struggling. If however, Taurus, you resonated with this side, you know, pop on over to Vimeo, link down below. Have an absolutely beautiful day, see you soon. Hey everyone, it's Kimmy. Thank you for stopping by today. Be sure to check out these other cool videos that are up on your screen and click that subscribe button. Also, while you're at it, join me over on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more content.